Our next presenter has also got something that I think personally is cool. I met her a year or two ago. For some reason, I ended up on her front porch and I get a tour of her house. And she's going to show you what's in her house and what's really cool about it. Miss Ruth Edmondston. I messed oh, it up. Sorry. It's fine. Thank you very much. Good evening. My name is Ruth McElroy Amundsen, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the things that our family has done to lessen our impact on the environment in our house and just our way of life. And uh, my son is also here tonight, so feel free to make fun of him over there in the striped shirt. So I'm going to talk about a lot of things. Uh, the first one is this is our roof. Uh, it was ugly, black asphalt, has to be stripped off every 12 years. It leaked, it let heat into the house. Um, there were a host of reasons that we didn't like this roof, and we had to replace it. And this is what we replaced it with, a living room. It's a green roof. It's plants. Um, they filter the water. They filter the air. They use the solar energy for the plants instead of letting it get into the house where you have to air condition it away. Um, it saves us from having to strip off that petroleum-based asphalt every 15 years, and it's just beautiful. Next project was we put in solar. Uh, on the left is solar hot water. On the right is solar photovoltaic. Um, both projects were really fun. We did them about three years ago. Uh, the solar hot water took one day to put in. Uh, this is them putting in those panels. It makes about 80% of our domestic hot water. Um, the solar photovoltaic took two days to put in. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be, and it makes about 40% of our electricity, um, and we get the rest of our electric bill by selling the credits for being a generator. Um, this is a, another project. This thing is actually eight feet tall and eight feet wide. It's a rainwater cistern. Um, we take all the rainwater from the back half of our roof. It goes into that cistern. We use it to run all our hoses, all our sprinklers, um, a, a, a soaker hose on that green roof, and the outfall goes into this rain garden. So, so the, if there's any excess and any mud, it goes into this rain garden, doesn't go out on our lawn. The whole thing ends up saving us about 80,000 gallons of city water that we're not using um, every year just by collecting the rainwater and using it. We also grow some of our own food. This is our home garden. It's very modest. Um, but we grow some strawberries and tomatoes, and we also grow some of our, or we get some food from a local CSA. And this is to lessen the, the, um, the average of 1,800 miles that the U.S. food item goes before it gets on your plate. We feed that garden partly with our own food waste. This is our composters with my son, somewhat younger. They're standing by the composters to give you a size idea. These are not 12-foot um, composters, but we take all of our kitchen waste, food waste, and weeds and put it in the composters, turn it into food for the gardens. We use native plants. Um, the advantage of natives is when you plant a native, it, it is good for the local ecology. It doesn't bring in foreign pests and foreign diseases that tend to wipe out the local plant uh, populations. And also the local bugs like to eat them, which means the local birds have something to eat. We try to minimize our yard area. This is not our yard, um, but we've tried to minimize the area. We also do things to lessen its impact on the bay, like we mulch cut it, and we don't put um, any chemicals on it and very little fertilizer. This is the other way we lessen our impact on the bay. We happen to have a really nice um, uh, buffer area outside our house. This lessens the uh, sediment and the chemicals that are washed into the bay and also is a really nice place for wildlife, uh, birds, and crabs to, uh, to live. On a more mundane note, this is our whole house fan. This is what makes it so three to four months a year we don't have to run the air conditioning or the heat. Um, when it's hot here at night, we run the fan, suck the cool air into the house, during the day, shut it down, and the house stays cool all day. We don't have to run the air conditioning. I've cleaned up since I took this picture, but this is my home office. Um, I telecommute two days a week. That gives me 40% less gas, 40% less stress driving, 40% less congestion, 40% less miles on my car. Um, another very mundane picture, but when I dry my clothes, I just fluff them for five minutes in the dryer, and then I hang dry them. The clothes have less wrinkles, they last longer, and I use a lot less energy drying my clothes. Um, I did the same thing with the oven. I turn it off before it's really done cooking. Another great way to save energy that's very obvious is using fluorescent bulbs, but a lot of people don't know about LED bulbs. That's the picture on the left. Um, they have even less uh, energy use than fluorescents, and they don't have a lot of the disadvantages, and they are hugely, they save you more than 90% of your electricity. We try to recycle everything. Uh, on the right is our beautiful uh, scrap paper pile, and we also recycle absolutely everything. What I'm showing there is plastic bottle tops, and we also try to buy everything recycled. Um, the picture there is our um, paper that's 100% recycled. I would encourage you to put your money where your passion is. 
If you're interested in a company, buy one share of it so you can go to the shareholder meeting. If you're really interested in the company, buy $2,000 worth of stock and you can write resolutions to have shareholders vote on it. Try to make changes in your own world. So I just gave you a huge brain dump of a bunch of ideas that we do. Um, I challenge you, it's all about baby steps. Just don't try to put up solar panels and green roofs and everything all in one year. Do one simple small thing to lessen your impact on the environment. Then maybe next year you'll want to do one more. If you want to go see the list of them, this first website is our home website. It's got the things I showed you and a lot more and a lot more details. And then the second site is uh, the tour, the solar tour, which has a lot of houses like ours on it that, that's given every year. Thank you very much.